Hello everyone, what is up? It's Preacher Man Scores. Welcome back to another video. And I'm doing my week 12 NFL picks. Um, I don't know what I did last week. I'm just going to check and see. I'm, it, it's already updated. I'm just going to go to previous. I remember which ones I picked. Um, let's see. Oh wait, that's oh wait, that's too far. There we go. Um, yeah, those are the actual scores. But I remember. Okay, I got this one wrong. I got that right. I think I got. Did I did I pick the Browns? I think I picked the Browns. Got that right. Got that right. That right. I got I got this wrong. I got this right. Uh, they haven't updated this, but the Eagles won. I got that wrong. Thank God. Um. Right, right, wrong, right, and I got this right. Ha ha! Fuck you, Bondi. But um, let me see. O one 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 and one two and one three and one four and one five and one five and two six and two six and three seven and three eight and three eight and four nine and four ten and four. Okay, so I went ten and four last week. There you go. This is this upset I got right though. So ha ha. But not none of that matters now as we will go to um this week's predictions. I don't know why it's so zoomed in on my end. Oh, it's not zoomed in. Alright. So, um it's Thanksgiving. Happy early Thanksgiving to you all. And you know, it's gonna be full on NFL weeks. Um and let's get started. So the first Thanksgiving game is is the morning Thanksgiving game on Fox. So it's going to be the Green Bay Packers going up against the Detroit Lions. Everyone knows the history with the Lions on Thanksgiving. They're cursed. You know how they lost last year against Buffalo. But the Lions, they're good. They have a chance to get that number one seed. I really think the Lions will win this. Is against Green Bay. It's in Ford Field. Keep in mind for that as well. I think the Lions... You know, I was right about them. You know, they were high ranked. They were going to win this division, right? I think they go to 9-2 by a score of, let's say, 27-20. to 20. Good competitive game because it's a divisional rival. Uh, the next Thanksgiving game is the Washington Redskins against the Dallas Cowboys. Um... Dallas, you know, they were also cursed on Thanksgiving, but they won their Thanksgiving game last year beating the Giants. And they're going to beat Washington because Washington has no defense whatsoever. Sam Howell is turnover prone. All right, he lost them that game against the Giants. Gave Tommy DeVito his first career win. I got the Cowboys winning by a score of 35 to, let's say, 20. Sorry, awesomeness, if you're listening. Um, next up, we got the San Francisco 49ers going to Lumen Field to play the Seahawks. Uh, there's room, you know, Geno Smith got hurt and Drew Locke came into the game, but I think regardless, I got the Niners because they're finally back at, you know, 100% allegedly, supposedly. Um, and Geno Smith, he's showing you why he was a backup all his career. Geno Smith, he's having a bad year. He's had a mirage of last year. I got the Niners winning this by a score of 34, actually no, 31 to 21. Actually no, yeah, that's about right. I think the Seahawks will keep it close, knowing them. They'll just keep it up mid-scoring. Next up, we got on Friday, Black Friday. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Um, Black Friday. It's going to be the Miami Dolphins going against the New York Jets. Um, I got Miami winning because even though it's in um, um, MetLife, you know, Miami, better team. The Jets have no offense. Also, Zach Wilson is not starting. And I think it's Tim Boyle, I think. Yeah. Um, so I got Miami winning regardless. Tyree Hill is questionable, but I think he'll play. I got the Miami winning by a score of 30 to, let's say, 10. The next game we got is this game, which is the um, 
New Orleans Saints going up against the Atlanta Falcons. I got New Orleans winning this because Atlanta, I, I just don't trust Desmond Ritter. He sucks. I knew he wasn't squat. Um, he's a, like, the running attack carries him in a little parts of their defense. So I got the Saints winning. I know Derek Carr may not play, but I don't think it matters. I got the Saints winning this by a score of 23 to, let's say 20. Uh, next up, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, it's in Cincinnati, and, um, you know, Joe Burrow's out for the season. Landed on his wrist when he was getting sacked by a, by a um, Ravens D lineman. And he's out for a season now. Jake Browning's their quarterback. I don't. I honestly don't know because Pittsburgh. Yes, they just got rid of Matt Canada. That should help them. But I'm. 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 I'm gonna go with the Steelers. And the only reason I'm going with them is because I just Jake Brown is pathetic. All right. They have a b- different backup. I may go with the Bengals, but I think it should help them out. And like I hope the Steelers lose because the Broncos are battling for a playoff spot. But I got the Steelers winning this by a score of twenty four. To thirteen. Uh, next up, we got the Carolina Panthers against the Tennessee Titans. Um, the Titans didn't look impressive at all. You know, Will Levis had struggled against Jacksonville. It's in Tennessee, but it's like basically two of the worst teams in the league. Like this is the NFC's worst team, and this is the AFC. Well, their second worst team was the fucking Patriots. <laughs> Honestly, dude, Carolina's going to have to break at some point. This is going to be my little upset, my big upset. I'm going to pick Carolina because, like, neither of these teams have n- played nothing to lose, all right? I think Carolina just gets this in a slugfest by a score of 17 to 14. Battle of the rookie quarterbacks. Tennessee has a better roster, but I just think Carolina's going to break through just this once. Uh, the next up we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, well, again another mid off. Like the Colts have been a little surprising, and the Tampa's been a somewhat surprising. Um, but I, I'm I'm gonna actually go with the Colts because just because they have the home field advantage. If it was in Tampa, I would pick Tampa because Tampa. Did okay against the Niners at first, and then they just let the Niners, you know, just, you know, let them have their way. So I got the Colts winning this by a score of, let's say, 26 to 23. Good mid scoring game. Um, next up, we got the, oh my God. Oh my God. It's literally a shit bowl. New England Patriots against the New York Giants. Oh, yeah, rivalry. You know, New York versus Boston. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I know the Patriots, I can literally flip a um coin. It's literally, I can flip a coin. I, I'm, I'm going to go with the Giants because I think the Patriots are worse than the Giants. The Giants have excuse because they're literally injured everywhere while the Patriots, Mac Jones is pathetic, wide receivers pathetic, O-line's pathetic. Just a good defense. Don't have that strong of a running attack either. So I think I think they just win this by a score of let's say, hmm, let's say twenty two. Hmm, let's say twenty to seventeen. Next up, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oops. There we go. Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the Houston Texans. This is a crucial game because it 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 you know stands out for the division because CJ Stroud, I'm not gonna lie, he did not look that good against the Cardinals. He almost threw that game away throwing three interceptions, but he's still a great quarterback so far, and I'm glad he's doing good. But Jacksonville, like Trevor Lawrence looked very sharp against Tennessee, who's a better team than the damn Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals. Um, I got Jacksonville winning this. I think they'll get revenge. Um, 
I think they'll get revenge on them, you know, on the Texans for beating them in Duval like that. I think Jacksonville just wins this by a good scoring game. Let's say 28 to 24. I think I think um, the Texans, I think Trevor Lawrence will get a good game winning drive. And then there you go. But this is going to be a good game. That's going to be a good game. Next up is my game. We got the Cleveland Browns against the Denver Broncos. Um, you know, shout out to my my friend, um, sports expert Max. He's a Browns fan. And also um Adams, he's also a Browns fan. <clears throat> but um, uh, you know, it's in Denver. You know, Cleveland has a bad history in Denver. Um and you know, we came off the good like it wasn't a pretty win, but it is a win regardless. Against the um, Vikings, you know, in the Josh Dobbs when Sandy run. And, and Josh Dobbs is still good. He's still good. All right. Like, um, I just feel like, like, you know, like, remember, the, you guys remember the last, you want to know the last time Cleveland won in Denver? The last time Cleveland won in Denver was in, was, I think, the la- I think the last time Cleveland won in Denver was 1972, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, I re- never mind. I remember it now. They won in, ni- in 1990 because I remember it was a close game. But, yeah, like, Cleveland just has an incredibly bad history, you know, in Denver. Actually, not- actually you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, that game – Oh my god, I'm just dumb. I forgot that game in 2018. <laughs> 2018, I forgot they beat us in Denver, you know, with Case Keenum when Vaughn Miller had the, you know, all-time sacks leader when he sacked Mayfield. Oh my god. But besides that, yeah, they just, they don't have a good history. It's like they don't have a good history in Denver, but they can win. But I'm going to go with Denver. Now, it's not going to be an easy game at all because that Cleveland Browns defense that defense is tough, you know, and they've been looking good. I think we'll win this um, just by a middle scoring game. Let's say 22 to 17 there. I I think we'll win 22 to 17. Um, and it's going to be a good game because, you know, the in order for the Broncos to win this game, they got they got to learn how to stop the run because run defense is still bad. Last year at least it was inconsistent. I mean, at times they did fine, but it's it sucks this year. Pass defense has been much better. They've been um getting turnovers. It was getting a lot of pressure on Dobbs, so that's good. So keep that in mind. Uh, what's the next game? I'm looking on my phone at the moment. Oh. <coughs> Okay, the next game we got is the um, L.A. Rams going up against the Arizona Cardinals. Um, I got the Rams winning this. Um, I think they win this because some reason the Rams just do good in their division. But I got the Rams winning this because I think Arizona's pathetic, even with Kyler Murray. Um, I got the Rams winning this by a score of 24-17. to 17. Uh, next up, we got the Kansas City Chiefs going against the Las Vegas Raiders. Chiefs just coming off that that little loss against the um, Eagles in Arrowhead, and then the Raiders just came off that loss to Miami. But you know, the Chiefs receivers blow, all right. But then again, those are the same wide receivers that won them that Super Bowl. Just take away Juju. But I got the Chiefs because, you know, the Raiders, how many have they lost straight to them again? One, two, three, four, five. What, like seven? Haven't they lost, like, hmm, um, I'm trying to remember. I think they won, like, six straight, something like that. I don't care. Um, I got the Chiefs win. this. I think it will be, like, a middle scoring game. I'll say they win 28 to 14 because Aiden O'Connell – I'm sorry, Raider fans. He's ass. All right? He's never... He's not your answer. Uh, What's next? 
Oh, next up we got the Buffalo Bills going to Philly to play the Eagles. I honestly, I'm 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 no I'm not the only one to think that, but I honestly got Buffalo winning this, and here's why: the Eagles. Let's be for real, the Eagles are overrated. They're dang shit, bro. All right, Jalen Hurts didn't even look impressive in that in that Chiefs game. And he hasn't been impressive this year. I don't know why someone say, oh, he's the favorite to win the MVP. No, he's not. Not in my eyes. It would be Josh Allen if he didn't turn p- turn the ball over 20 times. But I got the I got the Bills winning this because for some reason it's something like to show these teams their weak points. I got the Bills winning this in a middle scoring game by in a good scoring game by a score of 34 to 28. Uh, Sunday night football. We got the Baltimore Ravens against the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, I got Baltimore because, you know, the Chargers, you see what they did against Green Bay. Yeah, Quinn Johnson's a buzz. Baltimore, even though they're overrated in their own rights, I think they'll win this by a score of, let's say, 28 to 21. Uh, last game on Monday night, we got the Bears going up against the Minnesota Vikings. I got Minnesota winning this. It's in U.S. Bank Stadium. I think they win this by a score of 28 to, hmm, let's say, let's say 20. I, yeah, that's about right. Because I think the Bears, this is what I think the Bears will do. I think they'll have a lead like 20 to 10 and then... 20 to, let's say, 7, and then, you know, the fucking Vikings, you know, just in all their hopes and dreams. And instead of 28, let's put 27. There you go. One score game, and then the Bears will try to go downfield, and it wouldn't work. But, yeah, those are my pick, guys. I know there's a few that's like, oh, wow. Yeah, this this one, yeah, these two are my upset picks. So these two are my upset picks, you know. Just a little upset, a little upset, a little upset. So keep that in mind as you will. Um, Like, I hope I'm wrong on some of these because, you know, with the Broncos, you know, I kind of hope I hope the Colts lose against Tampa. I hope the Bengals somehow pull. I hope Jake Browning pulls a fucking Joshua Dobbs and goes on an insanity run to take out the Steelers. You know, because we need these, we need, and hopefully the Broncos win. Because Cleveland, like I said, they don't have a good history in there, even though they won in 2018 when our offense was stagnant. But it's going to be a great game between them. I think, like, middle scoring because the defense. But that's all I wanted to say, guys. Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. I might make a Broncos-Browns preview on Friday. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out and go Broncos.